Hey Middleton, welcome to PE at home again. Hopefully you had a good little break and you enjoyed your Friday off. Today we're gonna do a short fun warm up and then we are gonna do some looking back. We have a little bit of fitness fun, we'll review and then we'll do a little cool down. Hopefully you have a great day and I look forward to seeing your responses as you get creative today. All right, dicey dudes. So for these, you're gonna need a dice and some of the other materials you'll need today will be some odd objects. Uh, they can be balls, bean bags, or anything at all that you can go and use and you can move. And you'll need some kind of bucket or bag or barrel or target or something that you can set stuff on. So for dice to use, I'm going to go through these. If you have a dice, you can roll it. Otherwise, I'm just gonna call it a number and you're gonna want to do your exercise based on that number that's located next to the exercise. So the first one that we have that I just rolled was a two. A two is starburst and that is the number two up here. Starburst, that's where you jump up and everything flies out like a giant shooting star. All right, time to do another one. Oh, I got the number five. Five on the bottom here is burpees. And do some burpees. So you do the number that it says here. So do five burpees. All right, rolling again. Ooh, I got six. Six is jumping lunges. Way down here on the far right side. Jumping lunges. one. Ah, I got four for this one. Toe touches. Windmill toe touches. All right, time to move on to our next dicey dues. All right, your choice is here. Again, you can roll your own dice. And you can follow what it shows on the screen. We got hops here. We have knee circles. We have lunge twists. We have jumping jills cherry pickers, and our cat claws. Skipping with a little cat claw. So you're gonna have fun with each one of these. So this time when we roll, uh, you do the you do the skill until we roll again. So we're going through and we're rolling. And I got a two, I got a two up here going knee circles, knee circles. All right, while you're doing your knee circles, Roll again. See the pointer. Oh, I got a five this time. Doing some cherry pickers. Some cherry pickers. All right, time to roll that dice again. This time I got a six. Got some cat claws. Six cat claws. Should be saying thank you. We got one more roll here. One more roll. We're gonna see what we get this time. And we got hops number one. We got the one, which is hops. Hop on one foot. All right, sure you got yourself moving here. Remember, you can always rewind if you'd like to redo them. Looking at our day four agenda here. We're going to look back at what we covered last week a little bit. Remember we had our March Madness and we worked on shooting the squat, pocket, and shot. If you'd like to practice a skill without a ball, you can. If you do have one, you can practice it. Um, this is completely up to you, but this is just reviewing what we did last week. Uh, it was fun to go and see some of the videos and some of the drawings of people that went played against the Badgers and the Gophers and ended up winning or make it to the final four last week in March Madness. Really will we'll get on those shooting skills. All right, today is fitness fun. Got some fun challenges for you. For this, you are going to need to eat uh, buckets or laundry baskets, and you are gonna need some objects such as balls, bean bags, could even be dolls, uh, could be Lincoln logs or anything that you can find. 
um, the more the merrier you're at that point in time. So the first one here, see I put my buckets or my laundry baskets down, and I'm just doing a three object human weave. You can see how fast you can go on this. Try to challenge yourself, so you can go through it more than once. You can switch directions. You see I go down and around, and then come back. Weaving in and out, or around the last one. Weaving as I go backwards. Really working on those side to side movements today. Alright, next one. This one again, check in with your parents, make sure that whatever you are doing today, we want you to make sure you're being safe. So if you don't feel comfortable jumping over this, or your parents don't feel comfortable with you jumping over the objects that you have for your own safety, we just want to get you jumping so you can jump beside them or you can jump around them if you want to as well. Just getting some side to side movement. This is jumping over, which is a skill that we do need to work on. And again, watch your head. As you can see, Mr. W has to watch his with how low his ceiling is in the basement. Right, the next one, this is going over. And again, be safe. As you can see, Mr. W taps each one as he's going over. I want you to be safe, whatever your objects are. If you can't go over them, you can go around them. Or you can skip this one if you cannot do it. This is a three object leap or run, so if you have really short objects, you can go in a leap if you want to move from object to object. If you can run over them, you can just run over them. Alright, next one, toe taps. So whatever your object is, you're going to just lift your toe up and tap it. Just tapping on the back side and highlight it here with your green dots. Just tapping on the far end. Just doing ten of them. Hard, trying to get that heart to say thank you today. Uh, next one is toe taps again, but this time we're going to the outside. We're going side to side, side to side. Make sure you get your foot up, just barely touching it, trying to keep yourself moving, trying to stay light on your feet. If you get 10 of them, move on. And here's the fun part. You'll need a bucket of stuff. As you can see, I got a rubber duckies, wiffle ball, soccer ball, some foam things. And I pretty much just took all my daughter's toys, put them in the bucket, brought them downstairs, and grabbed a laundry basket. If you don't have a laundry basket or a bucket, you can just use a floor and move things from side to side as you can. Because it's time to prepare for plank and load. The challenge is how many can you do while planking? So you see how I'm on my toes and my hand, and I'm moving one ball to the other side, or one duck to the other side. How many can you get across? You can see emptying the whole bucket. And don't forget to switch hands. Bring them back from my white basket to my black basket here. You can do this more than once if you want to challenge yourself or challenge someone else that's at home. So you can do the fastest or you can do the most. So if you have a lot of objects, you can do quite a bit. I think I roughly counted about 15 of mine. But you can do as many as you want to. Alright, this one's kind of fun. It's called Ready, Set, Fight. You're moving basket, moving objects from one basket to another, going through your legs. You can use one hand for this first one, just like I'm doing. Try to get them out as fast as you can. As soon as you do, I'm going to switch to the other side and go back. So each time you want to switch. And if you want to challenge Mr. W, I'll leave this up so you can see the full version. See how fast you can unload yours between your legs. Next one that we got here. We're doing a Russian twist. So see how my feet are up off the ground? Grabbing the balls and unloading them to the other side. So I'm going from the black basket to the white basket. Black to white. As fast as I can get them So I keep my heels off the ground. If you can't keep your heels off the ground, that's okay for starters. Your goal is to keep your heels off the ground. Then we gotta go back. So white to black on this one. Keeping your feet off the ground. How fast you can move from one to the next. So get them all over. Get those last ones up. Awesome. Alright. Now we've 
work our abs for a while. We're going to work our back here. Just alternating and grabbing the balls and moving them into the basket, which should be behind you. How fast you can both do them. You can use as many balls or as many objects as you can. I keep saying balls, but I have a rubber duck here. This was kind of a shorter, quicker lesson because I've had that feedback that you already have a lot of stuff going on and I don't want to overwhelm you. So I want you to be able to create your own. And I'd love to go and see what you do. Feel free to share it. Share what you've done, how you've done it, and what you've used. And I look forward to seeing it. This week again is fitness fun. So the next thing that you will see will be some more fitness fun using the home objects or objects that you can find at home. It's about that time. Find a comfortable space and start to relax. I want you to think about what you did well today. Maybe you were able to get more items than Mr. W or a friend when you were trying to plank or maybe this is the first time you've ever tried to own plank or you were on your knees and you were able to go side to side really fast and clean up after yourself. Think about the challenging skills you have worked on today. Were some of them too challenging? How could you find a way to maybe be able to do them later? What do you need to do to get stronger or more fit to go and be able to accomplish some of the tasks that are there? Because some of them were really hard, like the planking. And it's okay to do skills that are too hard for you. That's how you learn what you can do or what you can't sometimes. Be proud that you worked hard today, even if you weren't able to do some of the skills on there or some of the challenges that we did because they were challenging. Be proud of what you could do or the fact that you even just tried it. Remember to thank anyone that helped you out today. And as always, I want you to stay safe, I want you to stay healthy, and I want you to stay active. If you got done with this and you feel like you still have some energy and your heart was saying thank you, but you feel like you have some more energy, you can go back through it or you can try some other items that you already got in your plan. I look forward to hearing back from you. I miss all of you and I can't wait to go in here and see what you've done. Take care.